scandal tonight um you know this is the last season so this is like the ser- you know the series ending of the show i was not going to review it at all because i don't feel like the show was as good as it used to be but tonight's show was pretty interesting so i think what i'm going to do um it won't be me reviewing the whole show i'm going to just give you what i can give you from what i can remember about the episode and my opinion on it so my opinion on tonight's episode which I think was called Robin, if I'm not mistaken. Y'all know I'm be remembering stuff sometimes. So I'll be having to go <laughs> and look on my DVR to see what it is. Um, so not Chicago Fire, Scandal. Yeah, Season 7, Episode 8, Robin. Because as you know, Robin was Quinn's real name on here. And we know the last episode ended with Rowan, Papa Pope, um, apparently shooting and killing Quinn. So in this particular episode, we see Papa Pope is a body in his trunk. The body looked like it's pregnant, and he sets the car on fire. And then, of course, they find the body, and they have, like, partial dental, which says it's Quinn. So, supposedly, Quinn is dead. I don't think Quinn is dead. Even though this is the end of the series, and I know they're going to probably kill off a character, I just don't know if it's going to be Quinn. I think that's different. Um... So, I don't know how much I want to believe this whole Quinn is dead situation. You know, we see how everyone is devastated when they get the news that she's dead. You know, Olivia, of course, is the most devastated because her ass already knew she was dead because her father killed her, supposedly. And, you know, even Millie come to give her condolences to, to the people or whatnot. You know, Charlie, of course, is like freaking out in the only way he can. You know, at one point in the episode, he's so freaked out about her being dead. He goes to Papa Pope's house and say, you know, just, you know, bring me back in. You know, let me be a killer again. You know, I was the best when I was void of emotion and just a killing machine into this thing that Quinn made me into, which was just, you know, saying this sick, sad man, you know, grieving over the loss of his wife and his daughter. And, you know, Papa Pope saying, you know what I'm saying, go home and think about what you're really asking to do and be sure that's what you really want. Um, we see how Huck is probably out of control. You know, trying to figure out who did it. I love Huck. Um, and, you know, he is kind of putting little dots together to where he come up with the conclusion that Liv killed Quinn. So he goes to Abby and he's like, you know, I pinged her phone. Her phone was in the area of wherever that was. But she met. When Quinn met with Olivia... And that was the last time anyone has, had seen her. He pinned Olivia's phone to that area, meaning she was over there at the exact time when Quinn was there. Like, so, you know, Quinn was probably meeting with her. Because remember, they, they never figured out who Quinn was meeting with, you know. And then with her dead body, Huck was, like, at the morgue talking to the dead body. And, like, not even, like, the dead body, like, under some cover like or, or in, 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 a, in a basket or a basket, in a plastic bag or not. No, he got the body uncovered sitting there charcoal dark brown or well, dark black and he's talking to the carcass and i'm like jesus christ hug um but he's convinced that you know Liv has, has something to do with it and you know abby doesn't believe him he's like well look there was a pen that was in a, her you know that was found with the body and it's there was a pen like a hair pen found with the body and when i asked Liv about it she said that she had no idea about it He's like, but it was in the the Smithsonian, and at one point, look who took it out. It was Liv. So he's like, you know, he think it's her. So Abby like, no, you're just spiraling, and you're reaching for straws, and just grabbing for straws, and you're barking up the wrong tree. You know, Liv didn't do it. You know, go home, chill out. She didn't do it. Huck then goes to Fitz to try to say, you know, Olivia's different now. And Fitz like, I know. I try to get her to change, and she won't do it. Um, It kind of calms down. There was one scene where, you know, Olivia... It's at the office, and she's drunk, and she's, like, stumbling a little bit, and she has her old white hat, and she's saying how much, you know, Quinn would have, whatever. And Huck had a gun in his hand because he thought it was an intruder, and the whole time Olivia's talking, he never put the gun down. He got the gun in his hand with his finger on the trigger because he thinks in some way or form 
Olivia killed Quinn. And we know when he found out who killed Quinn, he gonna want to kill that person. Uh, but I think he kind of saw how devastated Olivia was. So he was thinking maybe she didn't do it. Um, what else happened? Charlie was like Quinn because they were trying to make funeral arrangements and pick a casket. And he was like, that's not what she wanted. You know, I told her story one time about somebody in history who had their ashes put into bullets. And then the bullets were used to kill their enemies. So he wants to have her cremated even more than she's already burned up and put her ashes in the bullets to kill the people who killed Quinn. Because, you know, she was killed not by the fire, but they said she was killed with one gunshot to the chest and one gunshot to the head. And so, of course, they, they like, you know, she was murdered. Um, so Charles is spiraling out of control or whatever. So him and Abby, you know, get these bullets and they put Quinn's ashes in these bullets. It was like, okay, whatever. Um... You know, Fitz coming to to Fitz coming to see Olivia when he first heard about it. He got a bottle of wine, and she pissed, blaming him. Like, if you would have never went to Millie and told me like a child, if you let me handle it, I could have handled it. And I'm like, you blaming yourself, you telling yourself. Because no one knows the reason she's dead is because Papa Pope took her and killed her. You know what I'm saying? So you kind of, you almost telling yourself. But, you know, he like, she's like, you know, I have friends. Because he said, you know, I want to be your friend. She's like, I, your friend? I have good friends. I have great friends. You're not my friend. And then he was like, yeah, I see. Because the thing was, she and her apartment were goddamn self. We friends at, honey. And so she just took the bottle of wine, you know, and closed the door. And she was pissed. So, yeah. But I think that was all that really happened. You know, we see Cyrus' boyfriend broke up with him. And at first, Cyrus didn't know why he broke up. What well, we thought that Jake did something, you know, to him. But when he go and talk to Glucklin himself, Glucklin said, you know, I looked into the guy who beat me up with the oranges and come to find out he was like a, a murder for hire guy. And, you know, guess who he used to work for? He used to work for you. So you knew these people, you know, these crazy psycho murdering people, you know, and I ain't here for it. And, you know, so they basically break up. It was what it was. I still think it's some from where he breaking up for some other reason, but who cares? Um, What else happened? Papa Pope got his bones back, you know what I'm saying? And when Jake said, you know, you didn't have to kill, you didn't have to make the choice to kill Quinn. And he said, I didn't make the choice. I didn't have any choices. Olivia did. Olivia made the choices. Because technically, Olivia could have gave him his bones back. It's just some fucking bones. But you pick bones over Quinn. Even though you did it thinking he wouldn't kill her, you still picked trying to make your father upset over saving Quinn's life. And that's the fucked up part about it. You know what I'm saying? You lost that bet. Um, what else happened? I really, I really think that was it, Taurus, you know, with the whole story, honestly. Um, towards the end, you know, Charlie was trying to... There was a whole scene where, like, each person... You know, because they had to, her, her ash is put in bullets. So there was a scene where each person shot a bullet into the ground. And then they played a memory of that person with Quinn. So, you know, it had, you know, Huck did it, Abby did it. You know, of course, Charlie, of course, um, of course, Olivia. You know, even, um, what's the black guy name who on there now? I can't think what his name is because he don't be on there enough. You know, but they all shot a bullet and they all showed a scene which, 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 with each of them. And, you know, it was crazy. It was sad, too. And what song was this? I don't know what song it was. Whatever song. Oh. Um, Why didn't you stay? I can't think of that song. It was on something else. I think it was, is it the Stevie Wonder song? I think it's Stevie Wonder song. But, you know, and it made me, because I then went and I posted on my Facebook, like, you know, when I die, I said, no, I, I plan to live a long life. I said, however, cause my family, at least on my mom's side, um, even my, my even my biological father's side, um, they've lived long life. Like my grandfather died at in his nineties. Um, all my other uncles and aunts have died in their eighties. You know, old old age and whatever. I said I plan. You know, you just have to speak into existence. I plan to live a long life. I said, however, no matter what age I am or how old I am when I leave, I don't want anybody at my funeral singing those sad ass songs. I said, if you had a funeral singing sad songs, just make it more sad. I said, so at my funeral, I want y'all to sing, you know what I'm saying, the 69 boys to zero, and then someone sing a little nice, sweet rendition of Jim Joe's Ballin'. That's what I want. 
And everybody's like, girl, you was crazy. I'm looking like I'm dead ass serious though. But, um, yeah, so that was a little cute little moment. And then there was a moment where Charlie was like, you know, he didn't know what to do because he didn't want to go home because they had all his baby stuff at the house and he couldn't look at it. So, David and Abby go to the house to take, you know, put stuff away. And while they're trying to take apart a playpen, they find a, like, a USB port cord or zip file thingy or whatever, like, under the crib that Quinn spent three hours putting together or whatever. And, but they didn't show what was on it. So, I'm like, I'm, it's probably something to do with whatever happened. And I think that was it. No, the end. Was it the end? No. So, that was the gist of whatever happened and everything else. Um, but when when Charlie went to Papa Pope's to say, you know, I need you to put me back in, boss. And you just just get me back in this thing. And he told him to, to no go home. Before Charlie walked away, he heard a baby crying. Newborn baby. And he looked and he was like, move, old man. So, he, you know, pushed past Papa Pope. He ran upstairs. And sure enough, it's a baby girl in the crib. In the room upstairs, a little white little baby girl. And he like, whose baby is this? Whose baby is this? And he's like, calm down. You don't understand. Calm down. Charlie put his gun out. They tussing or whatever. He then, you know, overpowered Papa Pope. And he was choking his ass out. And I'm looking like, you could just kill Papa Pope in the bed with the baby right there? Okay. The baby I'm trying to it's, it's like, <laughs> it reminded me of Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why either, but it did. And, you know, it is the end, of, the end of it was showing Papa Pope being choked out by Charlie. And I kept thinking, like, oh, my God, is Quinn going to walk in and say, Charlie, no. Because, again, I don't feel like Quinn is dead in real life. I don't. I feel like Quinn and Papa Pope did this to get Olivia to have to change. And this is, the, this is their tough, tough, hardcore way to get her to see who she really is. That's my, that is what I think it is. And, but she didn't come in on him. It just went off with him choking him out. And then so the episode for next week was going to show what happened in the basement. So we do see Quinn was really pregnant in the basement, you know, being held captive some kind of way. You know, it does not look like she was there voluntarily. And so we get to see, I guess, what happened to Quinn in the basement. And so, yeah, I don't, you know, I don't know what it is. So, you know, that's my little recap of Scandal. I think that's how I'm going to review Scandal and how to, to, to get away with murder. Simply because I don't feel like doing scene by scene. I really don't. I really don't. I didn't write no notes down. I'm pretty sure I forgot some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Olivia being drunk was funny. I think that's probably how she really is when she's drunk. You know, after them shooting the bullets, you know, her... When everyone else at the office drinking and stuff, you know, and Abby's like, you know, I called Olivia, but she isn't here yet. So Huck is like, where is she? If you called her, where is she? And where is Olivia? She didn't went to see Fitz ass, and now she all like, you know, she ain't so mad at his ass now. And she's saying, you know, I just think one night, and they start making out. I fast forward it though. I'm tired of saying Olivia and Fitz had sex. So, but yeah, that was it. That was the whole episode. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this little short, short recap of the episode. Um, put your comments below on your expectations or your what you think the rest of the season will be. Um, again, I am Jay Lee. This is cause I don't think, if I did not say how how y'all doing, you know what I'm saying? I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. Peace.